person closest to you can kill you. I'm just trying to uh, put something together, man, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a West Side nigga. You know, All day long. I'm, you I'm, and your brother. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I was talking to you at the front, didn't know who the fuck you were. I'm just huh? talking. I'm just talking to you at the front. I ain't know who you were. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, hey, I know you is now. I yeah. see the mask on. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But, you know, I, I, what, I mean, what you got to say about sight, man? I can't say nothing about sight. That's my, that's my ace in the hole right now. That's, that's my straight ace in the hole right now. Uh -huh. They won. We keep this all together. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's my. I, I ain't say nothing, nothing. Ain't nothing bad to say. That's the show. Real West Side motherfucker for life. For real. He gonna be missed. Damn, sure gonna be missed. I'm from the other side of Goodfellas. But nigga, I knew about this nigga before I even seen the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Everybody did. Yeah, you know. And then I ended up going to school with Lil Sight for Junior High. Junior high through high school, we used to get on the same bus stop and everything, you know what I'm saying? So I got to see their relationship a little bit, you know. Uh, I feel like, I feel like me and, I, I told Nick the other day, I feel like me and Lil like probably would have been cooler if it wasn't for that neighborhood yeah, politics yeah, shit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, but uh, but we grown now, you know what I'm saying? But I, I just, you know, I just wanted to get a few words, man, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm glad we all grew it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It really been messed up. Now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, cause they cause even these niggas now, they don't know how it was no. in the early nineties and shit. They don't know that. They don't know who paid the way for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we put that down for that west side. It's always been the horseshoe. For years. This, this this goes back over 30 years. So it always been this, even before Whenever you think of the West Side, just period. Just whenever you think of the West, you can't mention the West without knowing or having heard of the name Sight. If you know him from way back, you know him as, as, as Sanchez, right? That's when you come from the ground up. So you either gonna know Sight or Sanchez. That's just, that's just what it is. You go through history books, it was always Sight him, Sight him, Sight him, and Sight then them. Bro, Bro was one of the, I ain't gonna say he, he started he started the 5-5. Five five. I just say without, without, uh, psych influence and, and, and psych just being who he, who he was, the legacy and the, the horseshoe, the five five, those numbers wouldn't have been around and lasted for for as long as they did. Because what he did was he bred niggas behind him to come up with that same, to come up in that, in, in that same, uh, how should I put it? Just, just come up in the dudes that came up in the same environment, they looked up the bro. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was more like, how was psych handle the situation? How you know what I'm saying? And and, and 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 that's what we that's what everybody followed and that's what everybody gravitated to. So that name right there gonna be around for a long time. He, he gave us dude gave us a lot of shit, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and he was one of the niggas. Dude didn't play no he didn't play no game. I'm just gonna say it, you know what I'm saying? So that name gonna live that name gonna live mention the West Side without mentioning psych. You know what I'm saying that's period. That name there is gonna live forever. It's gonna be around forever. People who don't even know Big Sight or Little Sight, they just heard that name so much they just figure like, damn, yeah, I know dude. Or yeah, I know man, I know him. You know what I'm saying? And so just just to, uh, just being that nigga brother, you know what I'm saying, gave me an image as well. You know what I'm saying? But for the record, I started the name Sight. We used to always, you know what I'm saying, get in tune with this, that, and the third. Me and my brother's class heads on this shit, but he was psycho. All right, so me and Nook. Homeboy Nook and D-Shot and, and Los, and we would spray paint walls and shit. So Big Bro was uh, Psycho. One day I had to spray paint. I just did up the site. I just did it. His name was Psycho P S Y C H O. I get the spray paint put L I L P S Y C K for the site. So over the years, the streets have kind of re-rocked it and made it Big Site and Little Site. So Psych dropped the whole Psycho thing because they just they just started calling it Psych instead of Psycho. They killed the Psycho and just started calling them Psych because I was running around spray painting Little Psych anywhere. So they did all the homeboys just started calling it Psycho Psych. So that's how the whole Big Psych and Little Psych situation started. Yeah. So dude was dude was just a uh, dude was an all around good nigga man. I can't I can't say that if you was one of his kind. If you was the, the, you was on his team, all oh, love, man. Dude was a dude, was a genuine dude. If you was on the opposing team, man, it's all bad. It wasn't no, it wasn't no hole, it wasn't no hole boy. I can't, I can't say that, man. Dude, dude was a, uh, dude was something else. Dude was gonna be definitely, uh, 
Them are gonna be definitely missed. Keep it rolling. Them are gonna be definitely missed, man. You know what I'm saying? So I learned a lot from that nigga, man. And let him tell it. We used to clash heads on this shit all the time. Uh, oh yeah, nigga. Uh, I taught you how to dress and. Uh, yeah, nigga, I, I taught you what type of girls you supposed to like. Nigga, you ain't like light-skinned girls. Nigga, I, I taught you how to, taught you all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, dude gonna be, uh, dude gonna be missed, man. Dude, dude, uh, dude was a hell of a nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Whether he was right or wrong. Dude was gonna ride with you all the way, all the way to the end. You know what I'm saying? Just, just one of the situations, man, that you, that you didn't expect because he wasn't the type of dudes that you don't think could die, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, I remember when, when uh, the passing of Dorsey, I was a little girl, I was only like 13 or some shit at the time, but I just heard Dorsey, 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 and in my mind, like, damn, that nigga hard, that nigga Dorsey hard. So to hear that Dorsey died, I was like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Dorsey got killed? So it's the same way with my brother, he didn't get killed, he passed, but still the same situation, like, can't nothing stop this dude, this nigga too hard to be, to be put down, you know what I'm saying? Whatever happened to him, whatever he's going through, He's going to, he gonna come, he gonna come from a bud that shit, he gonna ride, ride the bud because nigga, that's sight from a horse shit, you know what I'm saying? So that, that shit, uh, that shit fucked me up, she gonna fuck me up, she gonna fuck me up for, uh, for a really long time. Person to me because that's who he, he's my best friend, I've never been close to anyone outside of my family, um, uh, than Sanchez, and Sanchez to me, um, was someone who, the, the, the oldest in his family, they grew up in, a real violent neighborhood and to me he could he at a young age he knew that in order for him to be able to survive he had to be someone that's strong he had to be able to know how to take a punch he had to know how to be able to give a punch and he also know how to be able to uh, be a, a protector and provider for his family his brothers and sisters and stuff so uh, when I looked at him and all the time I looked at him I looked at someone who was able to protect and provide for his family and that was the most important thing what is it that you think that he uh would, would want us to do and how how he would want us to feel it going through this there's no doubt in my mind that he would tell us that, that jesus was around he would tell us to take our chest out keep our head up and just continue to live and handle we and be there for one another don't bow down to nobody that's his that's his motto his family love one another he would yeah. always tell you no matter what we wish you had chance to tell you to stick your chest out keep your head up Right. He, he knew how to say it in a way. And the only yeah. way you laugh, man, but also the way you wake up, wait a minute, you get up and say, man, you're right. That's yeah. exactly what he's saying. You got a question, Paul? Yeah. I, he laid up when you think, man, this is just me personally. Because I, I grew up with such in two different areas, not just in the street, but just being his friend, right? You're all right. When you think about it, right? Um, he went from nobody knowing who he is to everybody knowing who he is and gained the respect. Not only he gained the respect for himself, he made people not respect them, he they respected his family. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that, that all, all that stuff was laid by him. Yeah. That was, that was the, the, the success of a lot of people that, that's right now today is based on him. He the most famous person, <laughs> undoubted, from that neighborhood. Yeah. I remember when we used to go places, and no matter where we go, and we would run across the people, you know, the first scene girls would say, which one of y'all fight? Right. <laughs> you know, because of how, you know, the they, because they just heard about us. Yeah. Anywhere in the city St. Louis, no matter where we at, and then once they know where we was from, where they were from, the first scene, they say, which one of y'all fight? Mm -hmm. That was the most known <laughs> person. And when you, when you think about it, man, just think about this, he came from nobody knowing who he was. Gaining his respect to everybody talking about which one of y'all fight. Right, because they had to stay in the house and stay on the porch. And here you come knocking That's on right. the door all time of night. You sent your ass here. Right. You remember me saying, boy, get away from my door. Save <laughs> your time. Save your time. <laughs> 
go ahead and get away from my door. Don't be knocking on my door this time of night. <laughs> I guess he sneak on out when I went back to sleep. Yeah. Be there for be family. Be, protect one another, love one another, and be there for one another. And no matter what we go through, stick your chest out, keep your head up, family. Yeah. You know, so I, I'm, you know, I'm, I remember. Go ahead, you remember I, what? I remember when we, when we was locked up one time, and, 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 and then everybody, a lot of people didn't like us. More, the more people so and just as many people that didn't like us, right? And I remember Sanchez wrote me a letter, right? And, and he said, he told, he said, man, look, man. Dudes gonna hate people no matter whatever whatever happens. They gonna try to jump on you, fight you. He said, so just fight, man. He said, yeah. He said you better go. He said, I bet you go down swinging. They're not going down without doing anything at all. Mm -hmm. He was a fighter. He was a fighter. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's how I look at him. He was my best friend. He's still my best friend. He's somebody that I'm always holding to my heart. You know? Our town is smaller. All the players know each other. It's like you like you can't f over me, and I'm not see you. Was for sure. We, we'll see you again. We'll bump heads again. That's what makes it real dangerous. Sanchez Smotherman, known as Psyche, is a leader in the Horseshoe Posse. I've been questioned for murders. I got a reputation for being a tough guy, for setting examples on people who thought I did play. Like when the dog go piss on the tree, he leaves his scent right there. So I was infamous for leaving my mark. Dead man's own, man. What's coming around here playing? <laughs> you get killed around, you won't make it out of here. Come down here with that monkey, shit, man. Your ass don't leave out of here. You know what I'm saying? I remember when, uh, I remember when the east and when, when the north side and west side beef was uh was going on. We get up. We might need to do that though. We might need to uh do a uh, documentary on the east side, west side situation because a lot of motherfuckers don't really know how this shit started. They just know it was just a north side. It was just a horseshoe versus the north. Side. I ain't gonna say north versus west. It was just a horseshoe versus the north side. And the horseshoe burst the north side, and some some west side blood niggas, and some west side crips. You know what I'm saying? So you might need to uh might need to tell that tale too. Yeah. <laughs> 